This video is going to be a quick overview of some of the extended attributes of Zotero and what you can really do with it. So I'm starting off in Google Scholar and I'm doing my search for datafication and as you can see in Google Scholar you get the option to access these PDFs on the right side. Um, these are usually open access whenever you can't get access to the article through the database. So say I found an article and I have access to it. So I'm going to go into my library. I'm going to create a new collection and I'm doing research on datafication. So I want to make a whole collection on this. So now that I've created my folder, I simply add it from ProQuest and it populates very nicely. So I've got my tags, I've got my info, I've got my metadata, everything I need in order to make my citation. Now I'm going to add my own tag here for datafication because I have so much stuff in my Zotero that it actually helps me organize things. You probably won't need to use that. I just wanted to show what's in the metadata. So now I'm just going to close it and I'm going to go through and start grabbing articles that I want. So here's one that's an open access article, no problem. I click save, it saves to the same folder that I left it in the last time I had Zotero open. So say I find a PDF and I can't get access to it inside uh, the actual website where it's hosted, so I can only see the abstract. But I know, for instance, there's this open access PDF sitting here. Now when I go to save to Zotero, it says retrieve metadata for PDF. To do this, you have to install something. So what I'm going to do is uh, first just save it without this installed add-on for PDFs. So I look at it in Zotero and it's very ugly. It's just a series of numbers and it's not very interesting. So I'm going to go into my preferences. I'm going to click on the search tab and you can see there's a button there, check for installer. I've already got Zotero installed in my browser. I'm going to check for installer, install the PDF to text, and it's done that quickly. I didn't speed that up at all. And click OK, go back, try this PDF once again. So I'm going to delete the old one. Save to Zotero and now retrieve the metadata for PDF and click OK. For a moment, it's going to gather the metadata from the website. You can see it changes my entry in Zotero so that now I have all the information that I wanted uh, from the publisher. Now say there's something I also want to save. Uh, like this book, I don't have access to it right now. I'm just going to save it as a reference or I have reference to it somewhere else. Um, just to show you that it doesn't have to be full text every time. So now I want this PDF, retrieve metadata. Boom, there it is. All the information I need, the item type, the title, the author, the volume, the issue, everything I need when I'm inside Google Scholar and looking for these open access articles. I can go ahead and grab it. Now I'm going to go ahead and sync so that way everything gets backed up on my Zotero account between all my different computers and I can access it online whenever I want. And you can see it takes a while because I've got a lot of junk. So I'm going to hold shift and highlight all of these, right click and cite. I'm going to say copy to clipboard use the APA and say OK. I'm going to open up Word. And now remember, because we saved this to clipboard, I just have to paste. And there it is. I put my whole bibliography of everything that I just saved and cited. Um, remember only to cite things if you use them in your paper, but I'm just showing off what Zotero can do. And if you have any questions, as always, feel free to ask. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. 
It lets us know that we're growing an audience and will allow us to continue making more material for you. If you'd like to contact us to learn more about Hodges University and our library, visit us at the link in the top right.